Hey everybody, if this is your first time here, we're Smart Home Rigs. This channel is all about demystifying smart home technology for the DIYer who would love to have a smart home but doesn't want to pay an arm and a leg to have someone build it. If this interests you, please subscribe and join our Smart Home Rigs community. Hi, this is Rennie with Smart Home Rigs. Well, my Prime Day package finally arrived. Now it's time to see if they can bring this kind of fun to the TV. Stick around and we'll see how good they do. All right, so the Govi Gaming light just got here. Let's open this box and get into it. Looks like the box is in pretty good shape. One little ding. Thanks, Amazon. Let's see what we got inside. All right, so we've got two of these wands. Nice. USB-C. This is the camera that goes on top of the TV. And power supply here and then the other lights plug in here. User manuals. This is the actual light strip. The blocks. The template. They even include alcohol prep pads. Nice. This is going to be the power supply and the holders. All right, give me a second to put this out and then we'll see what we got. This is everything that's in the box. We've got the mounts that are going to go on the back of the TV. Uh, this is the alcohol pads to clear that. These are the ones that will hold this uh, strip. This is the controller and camera. The power supply plugs in here and then this strip plugs in and then these ones also plug in there. This is the power supply. These are the blocks that we're going to use to uh, sync this once the camera's all together. We got a quick start guide, two different templates. Uh, I think that's because one of them is for a smaller TV and one is for a larger TV. We're going to find out when we get into the user guide. And then the audio cable here goes from the computer to the unit and then there's also a headphone jack so you can pass through so you don't lose that audio jack. Uh, give me just one moment to download the app so that we can begin our journey and uh, then we'll set this bad boy up. All right, so I've got the clips in place. Uh, had to cut a few of them to make sure that it matched the profile of the device. Now I'm gonna pull all this off. And now I've got all the clips in. So now it's time to put this on. So before I stand it up and put it all together, I noticed that uh, they did give us one little peely. So here's your sound of tech. I'm going to go ahead and calibrate it and set it up right here on the bench and then I'll put it in position once it's done. All right, so now we're gonna go from the profile to home. We're gonna add a new device.
I'm super impressed with the color balance and the reaction time, especially at a third of the cost. We don't all have that Philips Hue money, am I right? As far as cons, the only cons I found were the USB cables on the sticks could have been longer. Maybe I could have put them on the tray underneath my TV, but as it was, since they are uh, light balanced for the side of the TV, I found that strapping them to the TV mount so that they could just give extra light to the sides worked out a lot better for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ding the bell. If you ding the bell, it lets you know when we post new content. Until next time, my name's Ben Rennie and you've been great. Smart Home Rigs, helping your smart home tech work for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that. Once again, my name is Rennie and you've been great. Smart Home Rigs, helping your smart home tech work for you. If you ding the bell, it lets you know when we post new content. Once again, why do I say once again? Until next time, my name is Rennie and you've been great. Smart Home Rigs, helping your smart home tech work for you.